Hey guys, so what I'm gonna talk about next is uh, the 50-30-20 rule. What is a 50-20, what is, hey we got, hey what's up, man that dog, okay. Come on doggy, go home baby, go. Hey what's up guys, this is Mario and today's video I'm gonna talk about how to create your own budget so you too can become financially independent. Look guys, I still remember when I was in my early 20s, I used to go out all the time, every single weekend. I used to overspend on drinks, entertainment, food. I was pretty much living paycheck to paycheck at that point in my life. And it really wasn't that I was not making enough money, it was really that I was overspending it. I had no control over my money. There came a point in my life when I realized, hey, if I don't make a change, if I don't change my bad habits over overspending and I'm managing my money, I'm gonna pretty much end up living at home for the rest of my life. So I needed to make a change, guys. I needed to grow up. I needed to grow up. So one of the things that I did that really helped me manage my money and take control over my life, my finances, was actually creating a monthly budget. A monthly budget helped me keep track of all my expenses, my income, even my savings. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the 50, 30, 20 rule of money and how this budgeting tool, this budgeting rule can help you take control of your money so you too can become financially independent. I'm also gonna give an example uh, in the video on how uh, I create a budget so you could actually create your own budget at home that can help you uh, do this at home. All I ask guys is you smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much guys, appreciate it. All right guys, let's get started. So the 50, 30, 20 rule of money is pretty much, it's a budget which says that 50% of your money should go to needs, 30% to your wants, 20% to savings and investment. So let's start with needs. So what is a need? Need are pretty much things that we actually need to survive. If we don't have these things, um, either we die or, or we're gonna be out there in the streets and or it could really hurt us, okay? So let's go over with rent. Rent and mortgage, obvious, we need housing, we need somewhere to live. Insurance, now this is where, where it's very important. Uh, the reason why it's a need is because our health, ourselves, we are the most important. Um, our homes, we gotta protect our assets, which is our house, um, or, or, or if we rent, we have an apartment, we have things in our apartments, they have to be protected, and our car. You know, if there's an accident, our car gets damaged, that needs to be protected, so that's the reason why insurance, it's a need. We have to pay for it, guys, okay? All right, food. Now this is where we get confused. This is where we can confuse needs and wants because a lot of us will say, and I used to say that myself, hey, I need to eat, so I'm gonna hit up my, my favorite restaurant and I'm gonna buy food because I need to eat or else if I don't eat, I die, whatever, you know? But when it comes down to needs, make sure that you consider food, only food that you make at home. Food that you actually go to the grocery store, which is a lot more affordable, and then you actually make at home, which is a lot healthier, okay? Eat at home, guys. Utilities. Now, we need water, guys. We all need to drink water. We don't drink water, hey, man, we die. So, uh, electricity, you know, we don't wanna go back to the ages where we used to use candles, you know? So we do need electricity. Phone, we gotta communi communicate, guys. Uh, I know a lot of people say, hey, phone is not a necessity. Uh, it is, you know, we live in the 21st century. Uh, we need to have a phone, and that phone needs to have internet, guys, okay? It's a need, it's a must, guys. All right, guys, now moving on to wants. Now, one of the things that I wanna cover is very, very important. Our wants should not be more than 30% of our budget, monthly or yearly budget. This is where we get in trouble, guys. This is where I got in trouble many of the times, overspending on my wants, and also confusing my wants with my needs, okay? So I'm gonna talk about that and how that happens. So uh, vacations, guys. Definitely very important to take a vacation. There's nothing wrong with it. But you gotta make sure that you do not go over budget and vacation because it is the most expensive one out of all of them and it's so easy to overspend, especially on flights, uh, hotels, um, and then when you're there, of course, going out and buying, um, um, I guess, food or just buying stuff, that, like things you wanna take home to, to give your family. I mean, that's okay to do that, but we gotta make sure that we keep it under our budget, guys, and not overspend. Uh, on, uh, on, our, on our vacations, on our wants, because that could definitely get out of hand, guys. This happened to me, I'm sure it's happened to you. You just gotta keep that in mind, not to go over 30%, okay? So restaurants, restaurants and bars, of course, we all have our favorite restaurant. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. You just gotta make sure we keep it on, 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 uh, keep it on budget. Bars, I know I used to spend a lot of money on drinks, 
uh, back in the day. And um, now that I think about it, it kind of is a, a waste of money, you know, because you can actually uh, buy your own beers at home or whatever. But it's okay, you know, it's okay to go have a happy hour and your friend once in a while. But always keep that in mind, guys. Drinks are very expensive. All right, entertainment. I mean, who hasn't gone to a, a concert, you know? We all like to go out of concerts or, or go to the movies, etc. And again, um, it's definitely a want, guys, okay? It, it definitely, uh, you know, uh, again, as long as we don't go over our budget, it's perfectly fine. Brands. Now, this is where I got into trouble many, many times. And I'm sure a lot of you guys got in trouble where we actually think like, hey, man, uh, you know, I need to get this. I need to get this new pair of Jordans. I need to get this new pair of shoes. I need to get this new shirt from Gucci or or this new iPhone or this new uh, Apple computer or, or new, new clothes from Calvin Klein. Uh, this is where our wants can be confusing, confused with our needs. So it's very, very important to keep that in mind, guys. And again, there is nothing wrong with buying Nike shoes, Gucci, Apple, Adidas, or Calvin Klein. There's really nothing wrong with it as long as you keep in mind, guys, we got to make sure that it does not go over 30% of our budget, guys, okay? You always got to keep that in mind. Do not spend more than 30% on your, on your wants uh, uh, and based on your income, okay? So we always keep, keep these in check, all right, guys? All right, moving to the next one, guys. All right, guys, now we're moving to savings and investments. Now, 20% of our income should be going to savings and investments. Why is this important? Well, guys, um, you know, you don't want to be working 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and then at the end of the, that, have nothing to show for. Um, you know, it's important that we're saving, we're investing in ourselves, we're investing for our future, for retirement. So when we get old, hey, we have something where, where we could take care of ourselves. Uh, we could, you know, travel the world if we want to or, or, or not have to worry about working anymore because we have saved enough money, invested enough money where that could take care of ourselves. Okay, so let's talk about that, savings and investments. So... Of course, number one, it's 401k. Again, you will get a 401k if your job offers it, most likely if you have a full-time job, and it's before taxes, and your company usually gives you a match. That is free money, guys. Sometimes companies give three up to 6% match of whatever you put on your 401k. You have to take advantage of that, guys. I always recommend to put 10% or half of this, half of this or 10% of your income into your 401k, guys. Very, very important to invest because this money goes in the stock market, the stock market on average goes up 10% a year. And if you think about it, over the long run, you are gonna grow your account exponentially and you're gonna be sitting pretty nicely when you're older. So very, very important to, to do that. Next thing I wanna talk about IRA. Now, if, if you are self-employed or have a part-time job, uh, most likely your employer is not gonna offer a 401k. So hey, you could open up your own investment account, guys. I actually created a video and you'll see a little pop-up link right there. Uh, they will teach you how to open your own investment account if you're self-employed or have a part-time job where, of course, your company does not offer a 401k plan. You could still invest in the stock market, guys. You could still invest in index funds, etc. You could open your, open your own investment account and I teach you, again, click on the link over here. I'll teach you how to do that in that other video that I created. All right, next thing is debt. All right, high interest debt, guys. Very, very important to so keep that in mind that that is kind of like a savings, it's kind of like an investment because, you know, keep this in mind, guys, the stock market only gives an average 10% return a year. If you have a credit card that's charging you 20% interest or higher, what's a better return? Put it in over here, will only give you 10% or put it in over here and paying it off that's charging 20%, guys. It makes no sense, guys. Pay off high interest credit card debt at 20% or, or, or more than 10%, it makes a sense pay it off as soon as possible guys very very important pay that off it's like an investment it's like a savings keep that in mind now very very important emergency funds six months of living expenses needs now we're going back to needs guys if, if if bad things happen guys if you lose your job you get hurt at work you're not able to work anymore not bringing income um hey you're not gonna be worried about hey i gotta go to vacation i gotta I gotta buy myself some, uh, some new Gucci uh, clothes or, or, or buy a uh, new Nike shoes. No, you're gonna be focused on your needs. And again, 50% of your income should be going to needs and you should have a six month savings of living expenses in case of an emergency. And that is gonna come from here, okay guys? So 10%, 10% of this 20%, so I guess half, half of it should go to investments. 
okay? And half of it uh, should go either to paying high interest debt or, or emergency fund, okay guys? Keep that in mind, guys. So half of your savings, the 20%, half of that should go to your 401k investments, you know, stock market, retirement accounts. The other half should be either going to paying high interest debt, like credit cards, and also saving for an emergency fund, six months of living expenses, et cetera. Now, once you have six months, six months of living expenses or more, then you should be using that money, extra money to pay down other debt, like uh, you know, car loans, uh, mortgage, or even student loans, or you could increase your 401k contribution. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you liked this video, if you learned something, please subscribe, make some comments, let me know what you guys think. Um, and until next one, guys, take care. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.